here's an independent perspective you won't find on other channels. Terron, ma chérie. Tu nous as tellement manqué. Laisse-moi prendre tes bagages. C'est moi. Allez, allez, on nous attend. Je me souviens. À cette époque, je menais une vie tranquille et sans histoire. Une vie de petite fille. When I was growing up in Iran, we had Tintin and Asterix and this thing. But that was mostly the things that my cousin, male cousin, would read, you know, because you don't have any female character to which you can identify. So it was impossible. Uh, the thing was that when I came to France, they gave me for my first, the first birthday that I celebrated in France, they gave me the mouse of R. Spiegelman. And the idea I had about comics is the idea that everybody else, else has. That means it's a genre, it's not just a media. It's, you know, a story for kids or adolescent or retarded adult being superhero stories. You have the bad on one side, the good on one side. And reading actually mouse just opened the whole you know, word for me because suddenly it was not a genre anymore and it was a media. And uh, so this, this book being a masterpiece, I was like, wow, this is somehow I can do also. While you read a comic, unlike the literature, you don't have to imagine everything, but you're very active because between two frames, you have to make the movement yourself. Then I can actually lean on the activity of the reader. Then you're watching a movie in a cinema for one and a half hour, you're passive. But then, you know, I can lean on other things like the soundtrack. Everybody around the world, they watch movies. There are countries that they never read comic because, you know, they think that it's a genre. But, you know, to write a story like that, I had to be able to have a step back. I had to be more, you know, I had to have distance enough with the story to say it because, you know, I, it's nothing worse than, you know, these angry p people that they make things and they want revenge and they're full of anger and full of hate and full of these things, you know. Uh, even if there are things that I'm angry with, it, you should not feel it, you know, because, I mean, it's never a good idea to answer to the anger with anger, to vulgarity by vulgarity, to violence by violence. It's extremely important to take a step back and ask questions instead of trying to find responses. Qu'est-ce qui se passe? Je l'avais dit. Je vous l'avais dit. Je l'avais dit. Nous sommes en train de vivre un moment historique. In in West, you know, since 20 years, you know, for breakfast they have Middle East, for lunch they have Middle East, for the afternoon tea they have Middle East, and Middle East is always, you know, like everybody is sad and they're dying, and they have a knife between their teeth, and they're going to kill the Westerners and all of that. So you know, it was a way to show the thing a little bit, you know, and the humor helps a lot. I mean, not only humor is a question of intelligence. I mean, people without humor, they're stupid to start with, from my point of view, of course. But humor is also, for me, the height of under understanding of the other one. I mean, we cry for the same reason, you know. It's just sufficient to show a, mo to show a mother, you know, with a dying baby, you know, everybody cries. But to be able to make laugh people is not that easy. Plus, you know, the humor that will work everywhere. So. It, because it's touching the spirit of somebody. But for me, you know, I always say this is a universal movie, you know, everybody can understand, relate to, and understand that the Iranian is just somebody just like them. So when we sh show the movie in Japan and in Switzerland and in France, in America, here and there, and the moment that I laughed making it, I, you know, I, I hear them laughing at the same moment. It's very surprising, but also it gives me lots of faith, you know, in what the human being is about. Maman, 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 il faut absolument que tu me donnes 50 tomans. Ah oui, mais pourquoi faire Golnaz m'a dit qu'il y a des mecs qui vendent des cassettes sur l'avenue Gandhi. Et des cassettes des Bee Gees Mais maman, c'est nul, les Bee Gees, quoi. Stevie Wonder. Julio Iglesias. Pink Floyd. Michael Maxson. Roger Love. Werner Angle. Carte à jouer. Iron Maiden. Ah. 
Eh, hey, c'est combien pour ça 100 ans. 50. 60. 50. 60. 50. 50. Et toi, c'est quoi cette tenue It's a fact that I'm an Iranian, you know. I you know, I struggled a lot of time defending myself, trying to make people understand until a point that you know I'm Iranian is a fact you know I'm born there you know I have the face that I have with the hair that I have with the eyes that I have and you know nothing is going to change that never so this this is it yes of course you know I try instead of you know making it you know look very folkloric and you know make orientalism and say oh look how different we are I try you know to just Look, watch, show them the, 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 the common point, you know, I mean, because they have this idea that, you know, as an adolescent in Iran, really you have the knife between your teeth, you know, just waiting for the moment to go and kill a couple of, you know, Westerners, which is not true. I mean, just to, the fact to understand that, you know, any adolescent in Iran or anywhere, I mean, pop music, everybody likes it. This is it. But, you know, these are things that are so obvious for us, but, you know, ignorance. The problem also is that, you know, a place in America, pe pe people, they think that ignorance is a virtue. They think it's a good thing. We wrongly say if you are born a donkey and you die, die a cow, then, you know, what is the purpose of this whole life? It's better to know rather than not, not to know. And that is the role of the culture and the art and all of that. That is weapon of mass construction. That is the only thing that can, might some, change something, but in long term. Of course. Yeah. When you make a hero, the, the theme for me is always the question of identification. You know, if you make a hero, I mean, this is not a normal human being. Nobody can be always a hero. You always have your bad side. I mean, the way I describe myself in the movie, you know, is nothing heroic about it. And once in a while I'm really mean, and once in a while I make nasty stuff, like everybody else does. Plus, you know, I mean, the superhero, the most famous of them, is Superman. And he's such a boring person. I mean, this Batman, you know, he's, you know, gay. He comes out in the night. He has his Batmobile. He's all dressed in black. You know, he's mean. He has something. But this Superman with this small curl here, I mean, he's so boring. I am never, you know, in a battle against something. I do the things that I like, and I do it, do them the way I think I should do it. Then it's very surprising when the critics they follow, and then when people they follow, you know. I mean, for me, the best prizes that I have had in, in any festival that is the audience prize. You know, when people they like it, you know, I'm very, very pleased because, of course, I can, I don't make the movie for myself. You make something to be watched, so. When the audience respond, and I don't think, you know, and as I say, you know, and I didn't make any compromise. I never say, I'm going to do that to please to this one. I do the things as I like, and I think that is when you enjoy your own work doing it, that the person who watched it enjoyed do, watching it also. I mean, when your work is calculated, you feel it. I, I know when it's calculated. I know when, you know, when I see a drawing, I know if it's made with passion or, you know, that just, just a drawing. You feel these things. It's, it's animal, I think. You, you, you know it. And I always very much enjoy what I do. I really do it because I feel like doing it. I mean, otherwise, why doing it at all? For more information, you can visit these websites. This program is brought to you by Link TV for educational and non commercial use only. Link TV is the only US network dedicated to global and national news, uncompromising documentaries, and diverse cultural programs. Programs which connect you to the world.